What's going on guys? This is going to be the first video that I've dropped in probably about a week. Honestly, because I've just had to digest everything that has happened here in the U.S. Honestly, for the last week, it's been hard to really focus. It's been hard to focus on work. It's been hard to focus on creating content. It's been hard to focus on coding, focus on my business. To see that video over and over and over and over again on CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, any major news network has been killing me because it's like torture porn, number one. And it's, it's like something you should see on the dark web, but you're seeing it on, you're seeing it on the, on like major news networks. And they, they play it over and over and over again as if the first time we saw the headline or the second time we saw the headline, the third time we saw the video, like as if it wasn't enough. And it's like a daily reminder every day of where we or I stand in this country. And growing up here, um, everybody, you know, I don't speak for all black people, obviously, but every black person here has relatives or knows people that have told them what the last few generations or last few decades have been like here in America. Um, I've been to the Legacy Museum down in Montgomery, Alabama, so I suggest anybody that doesn't know what that is, you know, look that up. Um, so I've seen, like, I actually had a, a, a chance, this was just last year, I had a chance to go really get connected to a museum that really put me in front of face to face the, the city or one of the cities that was the biggest, the biggest involved in the slave trade and seeing what the culture is like, like what they have inside that museum. And I won't describe it here, but just the way it impacted me and everybody that I was there with, it just changed my whole reality because I was born in the North. I was born in Michigan. I was born in Detroit. So we have racism here and you grow up experiencing it as a black man or as a black woman and you know that it exists here. And I'm not making this a black thing. Most people who are not white experience racism in America. So I don't even want to make this like a, a strictly black focused thing, but because we are talking about George Floyd and the fact that this is a repeated thing over and over again every year, I don't know what to say. Like my whole life, I kind of feel like my reality has been, been kind of shattered a little bit. Like if I've been giving everybody the analogy, like find out that Santa Claus isn't real for the first time again, because I feel like everything that I thought about America and where I stood in it, I feel like it's just being, is it's been changed. It's not being changed, it's been changed. It's great to see the protests. It's great to see the support. Today, they actually just upgraded the charges um, on the first officer to second degree murder. And they also put out an arrest warrant for the other three officers. So that's that's awesome but at the same time to see how long they were free to see the white house's response to see donald trump's response to see the press secretary's response to see the national guard's response and and to see what stance president trump decided to take on the situation and how we responded to the protests versus how we responded to enforcing curfews for coronavirus nationwide. It just says a lot about where we actually stand, how far we've actually come. And I guess going back to the museum thing, you know, it really hurts because you thought that that's what the pain was for. The pain that I saw in that museum, I thought that this is what it was for. The fact that I can, you know, work at an incredible job right now, work from home without a degree, as a young black man in this country, something that even my uncles and aunts couldn't do. They still look at me crazy because I, I, I'm in that situation. They don't, they don't believe it's, it's a real thing. Um, it goes to show you, you know, how even for us, we're still adjusting because things have seemed to be changing, but Right now, I feel like I'm seeing, you know, the truth. I feel like I'm seeing what my grandparents and elders, what everyone has always told me about and what I've been experiencing my whole life, just like the next person. And again, you don't have to be black to experience racism. Like a lot of people know what racism feels like. So, but specifically, I mean, to be targeted as a black man, of course I can, I can, I can resonate with that. Of course I've been, harassed by the police. Of course, I've had 
guns drawn on me by the police for traffic stops like of course without camera footage and of course like i can relate to all those experiences every last one of them it doesn't matter what school you go to it doesn't matter how you talk how you dress i used to think it was the, the length of my hair that would you know make me non-threatening that i didn't have dreads i didn't have braids you know the fact that you're educated it would save you it doesn't matter it doesn't matter none of it matters you know what i mean and to go to work every day and go to work with so many people who aren't black because we work in a predominantly white male dominated industry. I'm not saying that my job in particular, I'm saying computer science and software development and tech in general, white male dominated industry it needs to be more women and just more diversity in the whole tech industry. There's a whole inclusion movement right now in the tech industry to get more women and LBGTQ, black people, everybody involved in tech because we need more developers in the world. Older developers and technologies are going out, the cloud's coming in, new stacks are coming in. So you need newer developers to learn new things, who are excited about the new technologies, who love dealing with real-time communication, who care about apps, who care about UIs and UXs and, 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 and moving our technology forward. People who want to do that, we need that. And so, of course, there's a huge push right now to get more people to be involved in computer science and everything. So to be in the middle of like literally what feels to me like, almost a civil war or what feels like social justice like i feel like i'm living in the 1960s like for to be in the middle of that and then to, to go to work and then like people it's just another day you know what i mean and i, I don't understand it I, I truly do i understand it because it's not their experience so we breeze over it and we go about our day and we talk about stand up and we talk about whatever we're going to do and everything and plan and, and i and i get it and i understand but it's just hard because it, it says a lot, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot in the silence. The silence says a lot. And that's just been rough. That's just been rough. Um, yeah, I, I won't rant too much more in this video, guys. Um, if you have any black friends out there, wherever you are watching this video, please check on them. It's not offensive. It, it's not rude. I can almost guarantee you that they need it. I've only had one friend out of all my friends who aren't black who actually called to check on me and just see how I was holding up during these times. And uh, that said a lot and it meant a lot to me because regardless of what happens in Minneapolis and everything, it took a lot of pressure, it took a lot of protest clearly, and we still have a long way to go. Just understand that that experience of George Floyd, even though that was an isolated moment, you know, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Trayvon Martin, Eric Gardner, so many more. Those are all moments, but those are experiences every day for a lot of other people. So if those are really your friends, check on them. Don't just post on social media, call them, anything. Because uh, it would mean a lot. On that note, guys, I'm going to end this here. Um, and I will be making some more videos. I actually got a lot of good updates to bring you guys too. I know this video has a different vibe to it. It's a different time. But I will be dropping a lot more content that I think is going to be super cool, super useful. Um, I want to start creating a lot more entrepreneurship content too. Because I got a lot of cool things going on, on the business front that I want to share with you guys. So, yeah. But in this one, guys, I'm not even trying to promote my my video or my products or anything um subscribe if you want unsubscribe if you want because of this video um you can like this video you can thumbs down this video i really don't care um i just wanted to get this off my chest because i felt like if i made videos without making this video first you guys would feel the difference in my energy and i just wanted you to know like kind of where that's coming from or why there's been like a week you know since my last post so it's darren with darren Dev, guys thanks for listening see you guys next video Peace.